Monorepos are used by big companies like uh, you know, Facebook and Google. Uh, the monorepo strategy is about storing all your code under one directory, using Git probably. But most of you are probably using the mini repo strategy where you have one repository per project. And the question is, do monorepos make sense for smaller projects or smaller teams? My answer is yes. And I've been working with monorepos for the last five years with great success. First for Symfony, quite a large open source project with thousands of users and contributors and more than 40 uh, standalone projects. But also for Blackfair, a much smaller project with a team of less than 10 developers and probably less than 10 projects. And it uses many different languages, Go, C, JavaScript, PHP, and some more. Monorepos is about the development process, not the distribution of the code or the deployment of the code. It means that also that the monorepos are different from a tightly coupled code. That's a totally different abstraction. So monorepos are awesome. You can make large backward incompatible changes really easily. All APIs can be removed uh, with confidence. For microservices projects, you can change one API endpoint and all its usages in all projects in one pull request, which makes code reviews much uh, easier and continuous integration as well. So productivity increases as there is no switch between repos depending on the project you are working on. Collaboration becomes natural. Developers can fix bugs very easily in all projects. It also means less management. Dependency management is not an issue. Everything is in the same repository. But I can easily demonstrate that many repos are awesome as well. You get clean boundaries between projects uh, for free. Code is more easily reusable. Access control is a no-brainer. Continuous integration is simpler as well as you can run the test only for one project when it is uh, modified. So you should really have a monorepo plus many repos for one project, for your projects. And actually, that's the strategy I've been using for many years. For Symfony, we have one monorepo and 43 different many repos. Um, so each many repo is actually an automatic um, extraction of one directory from the monorepo to its own repository. And the Git history looks exactly the same in both repositories, just different SHA ones for commits. But the commit is actually just a pointer to a tree. And the tree in the monorepo for the directory is the same as the one for the corresponding many repo which means that creating a many repo is simple and very cheap. First, for each commit in the history uh, of the monorepo, you can create a new commit pointing to the same tree for the given subdirectory. You can skip directory uh, the commit if the tree does not exist, and then you can reconnect uh, the parents, and you're done, almost. So here is how it works in practice. You have one monorepo where development happens, Many repos are read-only, they are automatically synchronized real-time, and you can also work on the many repos, but then pull requests must be first merged into the many repo. Git sub split the command, which is built in, can do most of the work, but unfortunately, it is quite slow at scale. So if you have a big repo, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, splitting Symfony from scratch, for instance, takes days. And the problem is that splitting takes a lot of time because of many sub-processes that are created in the process. So a few months ago, I rewrote the command with Go and libgit2. Uh, performance numbers you know, speak for themselves. And besides real-time synchronization between the mini repos and the monorepo, I also added some more features, like pull requests are moved automatically from the monorepo to uh, the mini repos. Um, continuous integration, continuous deployment can happen anywhere uh, access control just works, and much more, actually. And Blackfair is using all those features. We have one contractor that is uh, working on only one project. We're giving access to this project only. Some projects are open source, so we open source the many repos. Uh, releases happen together for some project, but independently for some other ones. So code is not ready yet for open source, but if you are interested or if you want to learn more, shoot me an email. Thank you.